welcome back to another resource machine episode three part two and where you were building the library machine so now you're still going to be using some of these items and i'm going to place them Let's see here you want to make sure that the library itself can actually get you this resource um, but making sure that the actual library itself can actually do it for you. But in order for it to happen, is that Let me uh, kind of figure this out a little bit. Um, I think I have an idea. I'm going to come out here. And then I'm going to go ahead and mine this one, this one, and that. Okay? Why do I did that? Why did I do that? Well, I'm going to find out why. Okay? Now, you actually are going to place your block of your choice there okay and then what you're going to do is get the dropper facing downward and then again you're going to do the same thing except you're going to crouch and place it downwards so it should look like that now remove the block you placed of your choice now, the next thing you're going to do is actually put, come in here, place the hopper downwards. Okay? And now, the next thing you're going to do is that place a block of your choice right here and here. Okay? And then you're going to do, come out here again. For the second time around, mine these two blocks, no matter where you are in the game, you're going to mine these two blocks. And then what you're going to do is get the, hop or the hopper in your hands and place it there. Okay? But before you do any of that, you want to make sure you get the chest sitting there. So you're going to go ahead and get that. Um, let's see here. What um, item do I want to get rid of? Well, not really, since I have a, a redstone torch right there. So. Alright, so since I did that, I'm going to go ahead and pick block that. And then I'm going to come in here and place a chest there. So it should open like that. Okay? Now, you're going to grab the hoppers here. Come down here. Crouch. Place, place. Okay? You're going to get the bookcases. Place, place, place. Okay, so you're gonna cover up the wall so that it looks like nothing's there. Okay, now you're actually gonna put a little corner here, of this corner section here. And 
you're going to get the enchantment table here, which I have collected a lot here, which is not what I should have done, but I'm going to place the enchantment table here, and you're going to see some symbols coming from the walls of the bookcases here. So you're going to see that, all right? Now, since you've done that, now I'm going to come in here, take this away, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and find books. It should be in this section here somewhere. And, oh, right here. So I'm going to get one stack of those. And then come out here. Now, they should be at the top dropper. And they should not go down whatsoever. Why? Because it's actually needing to be powered. And then once you place a actual book up in here, so I'm going to place a book up in here, it just goes down. Nothing's powering it. It just goes down still. Okay? Now, since that went through, it should go right in this chest. Okay? I'm actually going to go ahead and get rid of that. Um, but as of right now, I'm still uh, not as of right now. I will be um, needing this here. Okay? Of the redstone lamp. You're actually going to go ahead and put it here. And then what you're going to do is mine these two here, mine that here, place this here, powers that. And now no one will know about how that is being powered. Only you would know. Okay, and do the same thing here, except you're going to not mine this section here. You're going to go ahead, place the lever there, power it, and then place the redstone lamp there so that it lights up this area up in this secured library machine. Now, now the next machine you are going to build you are going to go ahead and take these away. And then you're going to do the same exact thing. Okay? Now, you're going to do exact the same thing. So you're going to place bookcase here, dropper there. Now, you're going to actually do the same thing you did before, crouch, dropper there. Okay? Then, what you're going to do is actually go ahead Pick block that so that the block changes. If you have that as a control, you're going to place a chest there. And then you're going to drop right there. Okay. And then again, you're going to mine the block here. And then you're going to go popper, popper, popper. Okay. And then you're going to pick block any block of sand, and then you're going to go ahead and, re and replace those. And I'm in the water. And then your block of your choice. You're going to go ahead and cover this up. And make sure this has no space in between. Okay? Because you never know what monsters could do these days. They could spawn anywhere they wish. So you gotta make sure every space that you could think of that the monster will spawn at. Alright? Now, now before I close up this machine here. Alright? Now, you're gonna go into the creative menu if you're doing creative here. And if you are following along, you're doing really well so far. And if you're not, like I said, pause and then go ahead and continue on and follow the next step. Or if you are really good about following and catching up at the point I'm at now, 
Well, very well done, is all I can say. All right, so you're going to get rid of the sand block here. And then you are going to get lapis with soul. I can come here. And I don't see it. Oh, that's right. To, to die. That's what it is. To, to die. So here it is. Lapis of Soul. So you're going to get one stack of 64 of those. So I'm going to keep clicking this. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and go bloop. Just take one stack of those. Bring this up in here, and then I'm going to do that, and then cover that up, okay? Then I'm going to drop right here, okay? And then you're going to get the bookcases here, and do the same exact thing. Now, how would you know how to control the machine? Good question, right? Well, you're going to put buttons right here to interact with them. So, how would you know which one is which? Well, if you don't remember, always remember to put frames of what indicates of what this machine does. So, pressing this button here will give you a book. Okay, so I'm going to leave it in there. Now, this one gives you Lapis Soul. okay? The actual die of it. But Lapis Soul is actually the actual resource that you're definitely going to need just for this alone, all right? And in order to get the actual enchantment, all right, you would only know of how to get the enchantments of the, the only time, the only type of enchantment you would need. Now, I would say that you dig a hole here, put a, a a sticky piston there, bookcase there, even though it's a, a top of the bookcase, but once it's powered, you will see why. I wanted to use, um, uh, I would use a, a redstone torch because it won't work for you. All right? Unless you know how. All right? Now, you are going to get redstone dust. And I'm actually going to make sure this actually does work in a way. All right. Now, you're going to actually go ahead get the uh, sand block, and then you're going to go ahead and put that lever there. Okay? And now you're going to do the same exact thing, but except here's your, um, here's your, here's your, um, somewhat of a problem. All right? So now you're going to go ahead and mine two blocks by four blocks. Okay? deep as a whole, all right? And then what you're gonna do is get redstone here, 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 and here. Now, you don't have to worry about the sand dropping in its place because you don't have to worry a whole lot. Well, you're gonna place this here. That pulls that up, pulls that down. You press this button on the left, but it doesn't do anything. So you press the one on the right, and it closes, so it's like a double door security. So you would have to figure out how to open it. So then you go, you pull that, you pull that, nothing's happening. You still have to press those buttons. But what button to press, in, in a way? So you're gonna go ahead and pull, push that down, pull this, pull that, and then you have your security door. Now. To make this more a secured type way, you're going to actually do this. 
so that no one has a way to get inside, only other than you can get out and back in, okay? So you want to make sure you do this as a very secured way, so that you have many ways of getting inside and getting out. But someone is trying to get in, they won't. They could try it so hard, they just can't. But you have a good way of doing this in your own way. All right. Now, since I showed you that the machine actually is official and this is how it's going to be made, and if you if you like this uh, machine, you can actually take it from me because actually it's a very good way to make your uh, library actually a secured system. Okay, you want to make sure you do hit the right button in order to open up the double seal. Okay. Now, I actually did build a house here, all right? And since I have enough time here, I'm just going to go ahead and run uh, that direction. Okay. Even though I'm going out of my way, but still, I just want to leave it as a surprise instead of going directly to it right away. So, here we go. We're just going to keep running. We're going to keep running. We're going to keep running until we run out of breath. Man, I'm just not getting tired yet. <laughs> Man, I'm just not getting tired. Or am I and I just don't see it? Don't, don't worry about my game being so laggy. It, it just does that quite a few times. Don't worry about it. It's not anything too serious. Now, remember the, um, the uh, potion stand that we made? It's still here. <laughs> now, the house is actually just right here in the distance here. We're going to go ahead and hop all the way to it. And now this house is actually does have one of the resource machines. So I'm going to go ahead and get myself a uh, survival here. And hey, speaking of survival, that is my name. <laughs> I love it. Now, you're going to love what's inside, what's inside this uh, house here. It basically, um, I actually made this house with the resource machine in it. So, something that I made, and you probably will have questions in the comments of how this house is personally made. So, we're going to go ahead and go inside here. And, so we've got a armor stand, so that if you can, if you had armor on you at the, at the time, you can actually put your armor right here and have it protected there, but there will be still other stuff in your way. Now, you can probably see just a little bit of a hint of what's inside, but this is why I like to keep this uh, as a surprise. So, as you can see that the whole house is lit with light. and. You're probably questioning, how did I do that? Well, you would have to figure out how the, the structure is made and how I build it. All right? So first off, we've got a kitchen here. Okay, we've got a furnace right here, but you can't hop over in the furnace. Why? Well, there's a, um, a, uh, I don't know what they're called, but... They actually um, retract the heat up into it, and I don't know what it does, but I, I know it's something for the furnace. So I, I actually put it like that on top of the furnace so that you won't have a way to jump through this little gap here. Now, I actually made it look like a natural counter, and you can still see what's around here. And, um, and you can craft any food if you wanted. Now we're going to get out of the kitchen here. Now, here comes my favorite part, all right? So, you're probably wondering why there's chairs here. Or stairs. But they're more like seats, okay? Why are there seats here? Does anybody know? Well, if you don't, in three, two, one, wow! <laughs> all right. 
So you're probably wondering how I got this thing to work like that. Um, I'll show you how to do that and make it look like it's a, a table upside, up inside the actual house itself. Okay? So that's a brick, brick, um, table. Okay? And you can have, like, a nice little meal sitting here with somebody here. But here's the thing. If you want to make this look like an actual table, I would put, um, carpet on top of this while the table is up. But when you, before you remove the table from the actual surface, make sure the carpets are completely off of this until, or until you're ready to use the actual uh, table again. And then you can place the carpet right on top or you can put food in front of people's faces sitting right here, and you can have them eat. Eat, 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 eat. You know? But that's, I, I mean, I like that, how I made it, but I can't tell you how I made it. I would have to show you my my construction of <coughs> this, okay? Now, the next area is actually the bedroom here. Even though it's a little dark, but you know what? You're going to deal with it. If, if this was your house, you would have to deal with it in any way. But um, we've got a dispenser here, all right? Now, the good thing about the dispenser here is that it has your armor and your sword, and it dispenses it at any of its choice of its random. So you won't know what's being dispensed until you know, all right? Now, you're probably wondering why a redstone is up and going towards a, to a block. Well, this explains why. <coughs> That explains it, right there. But this house is actually not somewhat finished yet, but this is where um, the um, cobblestone machine is at. All right? So we're going to go ahead and go inside here. As you can see, the same effect that I told you that you can have doors here and here instead of there and here because depending on the house I put it in will change up just a quite a bit okay now to get back through the uh, seal here now here's a, a bedrock you can't even mine it it cannot be broken or can it you just don't know how all right so we're gonna go ahead and go through this little nifty little uh, seal there, this kind of a uh, weird system there. But that's basically the, this house. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. Now I'm going to go ahead and do it again. Man, I just like that structure, how I made it like that. I really do. I just like that. I just like the structure I made. So, the reason why I like to hide the switch, so you won't have a hard, so you would have a hard time finding the switch, but this hole right here will tell you exactly where the switch would be. Okay? Now, you're gonna, we're going to come out of here, and then there's one other thing I want to actually show here. And I'm going to put myself in creative here. And um, this structure here, um, someone actually made this in their own design. Um, I honestly like how they made it, but the colors just don't me. It just don't to me. For some reason. I just don't like how they made it. And why is there a door right here? Like, come on. Oh, wow. <sighs> it is just weird, okay? Personally, there's a door right there.
Man, I just don't know what to say right now. Just like, how did they make it like this and... Yeah. <laughs> I thought it would be more than just that itself, but you know what? Did not look like what it what I thought it was, so yeah. Unless that he made it hollow up up in here. Yeah he did. Do yeah Man, say. Man, <laughs> that is someone else's structure that they were building in within my game here of years earlier. And I personally thought, like, why would they make it, made it up in here when they could just use it in a different world? But I found, um, I found out, um, that I actually made this right here. This structure here is basically made out of glass tower with water up inside it. And what happens is, is that the water here drops down in this little nifty little canal here. And then as the canal goes down, where does it lead to? Well, to the water, the actual water area here, to the lake. Okay. Now, this here is actually uh they're also their uh their structure here their same exact structure that they made they made this as a bridge so that we can get across um but he also made this here but i find out that there's a bunny rabbits up in here and i found that out the hard way, but here's the problem. Getting into it. Uh, yeah, I find that funny, but no. But I can still get into it, no problem. And then, uh, he did make this right here too, but when I found out there was a monster nearby, I was like, why did I destroy it? Like, come on. And he put a door up there. And and I find out that um that the monster was actually below for some reason. Now, with that out of the way, I actually found out I actually made this a little hallway here, but the tricky part is getting through the actual doorway there. Alright. Now, getting through the doorway is actually something that I'm going to show you here of what you can do to make your door more wide open for anybody. But, but over time, it will despawn. So we're gonna go ahead and target the air of the button here with an arrow. And we're gonna go ahead and go through here. So over time the actual button or the arrow will dis disappear. So that would give you an indication that it will shut on its own um but over time though so so taking that time it will shut <laughs> so um but i find out i found out that i missed something up in this village is that the storm shelter hey it's raining You can come down here. Alright. And then, um... I pretty much 
covered pretty much anything here. But there are some other buildings. See, it's shut. It's shut. So, um, the door is shut. So we're going to go ahead and go open that and get out of here. Now, there are some couple gyms that aren't ready to go. Um, I will have a playthrough for them. But, as of right now, I will not uh, do that playthrough as of right now. Because the gyms are still being, as of right now, being built. And already tested and gone through already. So, in the process, as of right now, some gems are ready to go, but some gems are not. That be that's because the gems has been already gone through. Alright? There's only, as of right now, four. Alright? But I can't say how many more is going to be built. Alright? So, what's this over here? So, oh. hi there. <laughs> Here's an Ender's chest. Oh, the items I had before. Up in it. Now, there's a, another structure here I'm going to show you here before I end in here. That's ready to go and it's made. Alright. But now, the, the actual difference here is that... <coughs> The only difference here, okay, is that it's still somewhat lit, but I want to let you guys see uh, the change here. But it might take a little bit. But, you know, um, to make things go quicker here, I'm going to change it to night. So that, as you can see, the difference here is that the machine, it's actually a lighting system machine. So, this house actually has lighting systems in the corners. And up here... Is actually a redstone block powering a lighting system on the ceiling at night. And then at the daytime, since there's not a whole lot of, since there's a lot of light, the actual structure itself uh, will only power the corner lights, which only power just a little bit at a time. Okay? Now, we're going to go ahead and get out of here and depower the switch. Okay? Now, so we're going to go ahead and end it right here, actually. I'm going to end it right up here, actually. So if you like this video, please leave a like and a comment. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode of Minecraft Guides Resource Machines. And, and if you can, to help me post these videos so that I people can find my videos and until then I am survival man one and I will catch you guys later peace out